instruction in the house to pass across before we start this libration service I don't want any form of distraction if you know you need to go out you can go out and stay at the overflow because what is about to happen is a spiritual exercise I don't want you to go and carry what is not yours if you know that you have been distracted, it at all, you can reconnect your heart back now. Get it once and for all so that you can have the best life. On a certain day like this, someone appeared before God. And barrenness of 22 years came to an end abroad. How much more are we that we are on ground? Don't let us be carried away. I am tired of people playing church. And that is why they get the superficial, the fairy fair, the simple, simple kind of testimony. If I share some testimonies with you, some of you will think that God is not with you. And it's still the same church we go. So please, these few hours left in the presence of God now, let us get it once and for all. It's for a lifetime. I don't know when the special edition for singles will come again. Woman and our God will continue, but I don't know when this special edition for people trusting God for marital settlement will come again. So please, if you know you are seated with someone that will distract you, please change your seat and get it once and for all. It was on a certain day like this, during the 12 hours of praise, 2017, I stood under the canopy and I served I did not sit down until like 4 a.m. from 6 p.m. And I was telling God, Father, put an end to miscarriages in my life. Pastor from Dominion City came and tapped me and said, Mama, you have been standing since 6 p.m. Please go and rest. I said, can't you see my tag? I am an usher. Let me serve. I know why I've come. I am tired of the mockery. People don't know that my own issue was not trusting God for the fruit of the womb, but devil eating up the children. And I said, Father, this night, the next pregnancy must stay. And I settled it once and for all. I can never forget that encounter in my life. People came to tap me again. Please, mama, go and sit down. I said you will not understand. Three weeks after a common praise, I was confirmed pregnant. 
Three months. I saw blood again. And to cut the short story, the long story short, I bled and bled and bled. I was on my way to Dubai. In fact, I could not make the journey alone. I had to beg my husband to accompany me on that official trip. I bled and bled throughout the journey. I got to Dubai. I said, Timmy, it's like this one has gone again. Then I remembered. That night I stood for hours. And I said, this one that is coming out is a discharge and not my child. Father, I don't care the level of blood that will flow. In fact, it got to a point I was walking like this. And I said, Lord, these are the things my children don't need. So let them come out. The following day, I could not attend the official meeting. I bled and bled and bled. And I called the doctor in Nigeria. And he said, ah, start coming back home. I finished the meeting. I went for, I came back. I went straight to the hospital and they admitted me and to cut it short and simple. When they took up their system to check, they said, congratulations, ma. You are not just carrying one. You are not just carrying two. You are carrying three. I decree and declare there is someone here the enemy has covered you with the veil of reproach. That your husband has been passing you by without noticing you. This very day, the veil catch fire. In the name of Jesus, I decree whosoever has vowed that you will not be maritally settled. Their heads will go for it. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit husband. That followed you to the gates. I command. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost rust them. In the name of Jesus. So now, let us wash here. Lift up your two hands. If you know you are here like me, to so ask God for a lifetime encounter. Reposition your heart this morning. Isaiah is the king of kings. Desire is, is the, the Lord of Lord. Desire. Please, I need instrumentalists to be in the spirit this morning, please. Or if not, we do without instruments. Oh, Desire is the Lord. Of the 
Testimonies. Can I hear a believing amen in the house? Let all singles that are sincerely and genuinely ready for marital fulfillment be settled today in the name of Jesus. Put an end to shame and reproach in their lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, come and take over. Sweet Holy Spirit, take over. Let this encounter. Be a lifetime encounter for each and every participant, participant in the name of Jesus. Lord, even as I'm ministering, according to your will, may I never be a castaway in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare, oh God, between now and the next three days, let every single ready for marital fulfillment meet with their God or their spouses. In the name of Jesus. Lord, the entrance of your word giveth light and understanding to the simple. Come and take us on this smooth journey and let us have the full course to give you thanks and praise. For in Jesus' much less name, we have worshipped. Jam your hands together this morning. Like someone that minute. Jam your hands together for the King of glory. Welcome your neighbor. Hallelujah. Welcome your neighbor. Sec. It's not working. It's not working. Four plus is not working. Hallelujah. Are we set? Are we set to go on that journey with me? Hallelujah. That thing that has molested you today, you will see them dropping out of your life yourself in the name of Jesus. Can you please help me celebrate my husband? You are sitting down celebrating my husband. Please celebrate. My, can I hear the strings, please? Please celebrate my husband. 
Can I hear the strings, please? Please celebrate my husband. Oh. Hallelujah. My God ordained spouse. The one God created from me, for me from the beginning of the earth. The one that made me by the help of the Holy Spirit who I am today. 14 years in marriage is just like we got married yesterday. Sometimes I ask, are we even in marriage or we are just like brothers and sisters? And I will tell you why I'm having this kind of peace today. The man made me. Jam your heads together for God's servant. I love you, sweetheart. He's downstairs and I'm sure he's watching his beautiful wife. Hallelujah. He found me. He found me. He found me. Your own God ordained husband will find you in the name of Jesus. In that atmosphere, jam your hands together and sit as queens in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have a lot of thanksgiving to do, so I'll be very fast with this message. It's an interesting one. Hallelujah. I celebrate all volunteers of Woman and a God Ministry. Please celebrate yourself. May the God of heaven reward you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. To all my prayer team, thank you. Even when I, it looked yesterday that I was already weak, you guys were still interceding along with me. May the God of heaven reward you all Amen. in the name of Jesus. The theme for this woman and her God is what? Can I hear it? I am not hearing you. Can someone who is ready for marriage stand up and scream the theme again? You will tell yourself the fine table. Don't please walk around, walk around, walk around, walk. I need the instrumentalist. I need this. Walk around, walk around, hallelujah. Amen. This is a fine table wife. I decree and declare. Whatsoever has made you bury your head in shame. That thing is going for you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The fine table wife. Please sit down in the presence of God. Proverbs 18 verse 22. Proverbs 18, 22. The people on the console downstairs, please, I want you guys to be very fast. Proverbs 18, 22. Are we there? If you are there, let us read together. He who finds a wife. Let us read again. He who finds a wife. And obtains what? Put your name where there is wife. He will find. He will find. He will find. Find what? And obtain what? How many of us are singles in the house? Please don't be shy this morning. You heard my daughter when she was ministering, when she said, when I was trusting God for the fruit of the womb, if, it's, if you like, mock me, you. Hmm? If they tell people that trusting fruit for the fruit of the womb 10, 15 million times, I get up. If I got to a point, people will be like, go and sit down now. I know they sit down. I was coming out. And today I'm mother of triplets. I don't even look it. So, please don't feel bad being a single. Don't let anybody put you under pressure. So let us read that scripture again. He will find... He will find, find what? And obtains what? So that means you are delaying favor in someone's life. Have you seen how much power you carry as a woman? Hello? That means you are delaying someone's favor. Let me shock you. It's not that the person 
do not, does not have favor, but there is this God kind of favor. Children of God, I brought favor to my husband. He was wearing two trousers that were like motopack trousers. And my family told me, how can you marry this kind of person? When someone that had Camry is lining up for you, you are marrying someone that is wearing coats, not even suits. But I knew it that I carry favor and that that thing called stupid trouser or coat will soon turn to international trouser. And today, you guys can testify. Jam your hands for my husband. You carry favor. You don't know. Singles, why are you burying your head in shame? Why? You don't know what you carry. That is why you go this mountain today, that mountain today, tomorrow, this mountain today, I defy husband. If you find husband for 100 years, you won't get. He is ordained to find you. And that is why, please listen and listen very well so that you get it once and for all. That is why you see some people when they connect them after two months, you don't scatter. There are people not meant for that kind of era, for that kind of connection. Especially people that God knows that they carry powerful favor. A man is to find you. And that's why this team came very strong. When I was in a dream, I told the people that are close to me in church, when I gave them the instruction, I saw wedding gowns in front of me. I was like, what is this? I saw people entering the church with wedding gowns. And God said, my daughter, arise the next day edition of Woman and a God. Go and decree over singles that are genuinely ready. Let them go and be married. But how can I prophesy over singles and they don't know what they carry? That is why we are about to talk. So woman, are you ready? Shake yourself. Are you ready? Good. So listen. Woman, listen to this. Men do not exist to bring the favor of the Lord to your lives. They don't exist to bring that joy. Listen, you only find that favor of the Lord by being the woman God created you to be first. By breaking the chains with which the devil held you bound. Second, by knowing the Lord passionately. Third, by walking in his power. And worshipping him with your life. Don't think that it is until you find a man. That your joy will come. Listen again. Men. Naturally do not exist. To bring favor. You are the one. God created. To bring favor. Notice the scripture. That we read. In Proverbs 18, 22, the scripture did not say, whoever finds a woman. The scripture says, whoever finds a wife and not a knife that finds a good thing. Tell your neighbor, I am the good thing. Can you scream it? I am the good thing. And I'm not ordinary. I am a carrier of God kind of favor. Woman, listen again. Become a wife before you meet that man. Before you get married. And if you are married in the house, it is not too late. Reposition yourself strategically by becoming a wife. First in your spirit. 
Because if you are not prepared to be a wife in your spirit, you will find yourself dragging your ugly past into what could be the most beautiful thing and relationship of your life. That is why you see some relationship. Once a woman enters into that relationship, it's not her fault. It's the past. She brought the past into the relationship. So any little thing gets her angry. Any little thing discourages her. Any little thing makes her knock. And instead of the relationship to last, it crumbles. And you come on social media to say they've served you breakfast. You only allowed your past to dictate your future. Woman, do what you need to do in order to be whole today. The Lord heals, the Lord mends, the Lord restores. There is no amount of laying of hands I will do. If you don't get your past behind, you will drag your past to your future. This very day, I decree, God will make you a woman of strength, amen. a woman of grace, amen. and a woman of allness. Amen. Can I hear you believe in amen? amen? By the end of this program, God would have worked in you, and you will be such a good thing to the man coming your way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Singles. Being a single person is not a sickness. Let me loud it again. Being single is not a sickness. Don't ever get discouraged when people are getting married. You see these two children that are in front of me? They are the latest brides God gave me. Can you clap for Jesus? They came to peace house. As what? Single person. And today, they are both married. The husband, she brought what? Favor. Where is the husband today? Hallelujah, Canada. Canada. Say it well, say it well. Canada. 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 To let you see the power you carry. My daughter, Ife. Who knows Pastor Chris downstairs, the protocol of Pastor Protocol to protocol. They are protocoling themselves in church. And they are getting married. I decree, your own man will look at you. Amen. Be single. Don't let anybody discourage you. It's not a sickness. It's not a stigma. It's not a situation. You are the one that is seeing it like that. Be single. It's a situation for you to recharge yourself. Ask yourself a question. Why am I still single? Who knows? Maybe God wants you to get it better. Being single is an opportunity for God to do better things for you. Don't compare yourself with anybody. And if a man, if a man asks you, if a man asks you, what are you bringing to the table? Tell them, I am bringing favor. Loud it. What are you bringing to the table? Yeah. I. Yeah. I am bringing favor. Yeah. Jam your hands together for the king of glory. So if anybody asks you henceforth, what are you bringing to the table? I am bringing favor. But children of God, you can't just say I'm bringing favor and you are not made. Sometimes, my husband, oh God, Joanne can testify. He just look at me and say, why are you killing me like this? It's because I know what I carry. A man cannot say that he wants to do like this with me. Never. You can't toy with me because I know where I'm going. That is what I want to tell you today. You are not at the mercy of any man. Build yourself. It is man that gives joy. Who said so? It's God that gives joy. I am waiting for my man to appear. Don't wait. The scriptures wait. Wait only on the Lord. And I say again, wait on the Lord, not wait on man. Jump your hands together. Singles, are you living in the reality of what you are expecting? Don't be at the mercy of any man. Do you really get ready every day as being called a wife? As a lady, 
Has God even given you scripture while you are waiting on him? Not waiting on man. Have you even read books on marriage? And you feel maybe God is delaying something. No, you are the one delaying yourself. Before I got married, I read four books. Number one, No More Two by Billy Aconi. Two, Making Marriage Work by Joyce Meyer. Three, Woman Thou Art Loose, the movie and the book, T.D. Jakes. And four, The Effective Minister's Wife by Gloria Bangui. I equipped myself. What are you doing in your single? Because after marriage, what next? There is nothing. If you go inside empty, you die empty. So don't let anybody deceive you. Come! Come and receive marital fulfillment. It's a lie, yo. You must do something about yourself. Don't let the society put pressure on you. Get yourself first during your waiting period. Build yourself. Make sure you are well prepared for marriage. Let your husband see new things every day. New things every day. We were discussing just last month. Yes, or so. And I said, you know, he said that, Alero, it's time for you to renew your UK visa. That you better start renewing it now. And you know how much this palm is talking, is talking about. And I said, I don't want two years. I want five years. He said, eh? How are you going to do that one? I said, we'll do it. And he said, okay, go and raise this social amount. And I said, God, I need a pre-woman and a God testimony for this man to know. I carry favor. You must even let your husband know part time that you carry favor by letting new things happen. You don't even know. It's secret. How oh, I wish men are not listening to this thing. You don't know the grace you carry. And he said, okay, let's apply. Two years, five years. I said five years. Five years. And he said, and he said you know how much that costs. I said, yes. He said, okay, let's gather. Let's do it. And I told God. I was in the bathroom. Before I traveled last week, I said, God, show this man again that I carry favor, that I bring favor to the table part time. I will do five years. And we applied. I applied. Loretta is here, she knows. I applied two weeks ago because last week I was not around. So I applied. I dropped my application on Friday. On Monday, I was on my way for official assignment. And just yesterday, I picked my five years UK visa. I decree. I decree. Whatever has made you bury your head in shame, eh? I am saying it again. God will disappoint them now. Amen. You are a good thing, woman. You carry good thing. Good thing surrounds you. You are to bring out good thing for men. I prophesy. Whatever has made you bury your head in shame. God will destroy this moment. Please sit down. It breaks my heart. When women bury their head in shame. And on my way to pick up, when I picked it up, when I snapped it and sent to him, he said, I let her glory to God. That means one point something million was not wasted. You are not a waster as a woman. God did not create you to make a man struggle. God created you to be an addition. Stop going to places where they are prophesying, but yet you are not thinking about yourself, carrying something yourself. Don't be empty. Don't feel that it's only pastor that carry the power. You carry it even much more. It's because you feel that they carry some special thing. Let me deviate. I'll be worse than people on the streets. It's grace and mercy that is still sustaining me. So you carry a good thing. Tell your neighbor, tap your neighbor. I carry favor. I am an addition to my man. The person that has not met me does not know. 
But today, as I step out of this door, the man will find me. In the name of Jesus. Focus on becoming the good thing to the man God has ordained for you. If you are not joyful, children of God, you will never attract good thing. Isaiah 12 verse 3 says, out of with joy shall you draw. So let me paraphrase it. With joy shall you draw another God's son from the wealth. To draw him out. Where his glory is being buried. Who knows? Maybe he's with a strange man. With joy you call him forth. Before I got married, I was in church praying. And God told me, three men seek thee. In Winner's Chapel. And I said, what does this mean? Three men seek thee. And he gave me that scripture in heart. When God told Peter, three men seek thee. I said, what is the meaning of this? And all of a sudden, I finished from prayer. That Monday, I was going home. There's a corner in Yalaje we pass. I was striking there. And I heard again, three men seek thee. But one person is your husband. God does not interfere in your affairs. That is why you see people getting married today, they end tomorrow. It was still pastor that joined them. But God does not, don't let anybody deceive you. It's until you invite him that he will come. You can get married today, not even you in Jesus' name. People can get married today and they end tomorrow. So I heard three men sick day. So what does that mean? I went to God. Can I hear the strings, please? And I went to God. And of a truth, after like three days, I met one person. I think after two weeks, God's servant came to church. He has been eyeing me though. Then the third person. But he was the one not looking it at all. But I saw vision. I saw vision. I saw peace of mind. Do you know that the person that had the money, I tried my possible best for us to get married. It didn't work. That is why you should know what you carry. You are not to find. is the man that needs to find you. So with joy, I started praising God. I started praising God. I started praising God. And I was washing my clothes in university in my room that day. Are you here? I don't want distraction there. I was washing my clothes and I heard... Femi Ojo is on his way from Ibadan to see you. You must say yes to him. Nobody was in the room with me. I can never forget March 5 in my life. I can never forget 2009 or 2010. Because pastor did not waste time. Six months we got married. In fact, he came that day because after like two hours, I heard a knock. And I saw it was him. And he just said, we are getting married so, so, so time. Like the next day, he gave me a ring on the road and he traveled to South Africa. So I was now left with dealing with the other two men. He said, if he doesn't do that thing now, he knows that somebody else will carry. So let him quickly. But God told me something. Please listen. Don't be distracted. God said, let me analyze the three of them, but I will never pick for you. God does not intrude in our privacy. Don't deceive yourself. The brother will say, I saw you wearing wedding guy. He's a lie. Don't, don't, don't let anybody deceive you. My pastor said, he's a lie. See yourself. You can corroborate his story. Why not? But not somebody telling you that. that God, you better say yes to me. God said, he's, you are the one. He's a lie. God did not tell me. And that was what happened. When he traveled, he's hearing me today. In Winners, because I was the only lady praying on the altar with men. If you notice in Winners Chapel, it's only men that pray. I was the only lady praying with men on the altar. So after that day, I, when I prayed, some pastors were hanging me in Winners. So they went to submit their name. But there's this man, Pastor Prosper. So state pastor came. They now called me for a meeting. I'm going somewhere so that nobody will ruin your life. Please listen. Don't be carried away. We have food and drinks to eat, to take downstairs. 
We have cake. We have different things. You will enjoy it, but get it once and for all. And they called me. All of a sudden, the state pastor said, go and call Sister Busola. Then I entered. Hey, boardroom. What happened? What have I done? I am a lady of integrity. I don't do nonsense. So I was worried why they were calling me. So when I started, they said I should sit down. Pastorates of winners. You can imagine how hefty they are. They now said I should sit down. They now said, you know, Pastor Prosper here said God told her him that you are the God ordained wife. I said, state, state pastor, that's a lie. <laughs> so Pastor Ibrahimo saw me and said, huh, why? I said, sorry, sir, with respect. I know I'm going to end up ministry. I know I'm going to end up putting smiles on people's face. But I did not see myself ending up with a winner's pastor. Detail. Detail. You must never let anybody cajole you. Some people would have said, okay, God has said it. Let me just marry the pastor. He gave me different gifts. Ah, the lies not here. Different gifts. They were just unboxing. Unboxing. Rose today, cake tomorrow. This one today, that one tomorrow, this one today. They're celebrating Pastor uh, Sister Busola, the vice president of the Living Faith. It's a lie. I didn't see myself. And you know why that happened? I saw where I was going. As a single person, this is the time to see where you are going. Because when you get into the marriage, time is going. You don't have that time to start praying the way you used to pray. I miss singlehood. That is why you need to go and read the book by Miles Morrow. Married but single. And that is what is helping me today. That's why you can tell me that, wow, Pastor B, you look good. Even after three. Yes. Because I know where I am going. So be joyful during your waiting period. Get yourself scriptures. Read books. How I read about the most effective minister's wife by Gloria Bangboye. This thing that I'm doing today, I saw it at the age of 20. When people were lazing around, I saw where I was going. I would carry bottled water in front of the mirror and I'll be ministering in my room. And I saw it that people, thousands, were listening online. That time there was nothing like online. So I would be like, what is meaning of mine? I, whites would be listening to me. I didn't understand it. But so many ladies today is until a man directs you. That is where you go. So I would have ended up becoming pastor, winner's pastor. No, God didn't tell me that. I knew I was going to marry a pastor. But God told me not winner's pastor. Funny enough, he was a part-time winner's pastor, but not full-time. And God told him too that he will not end up becoming a winner's pastor. Have direction in life. You are running it. I am more of an indoor person. So how did he find me? Hello? Hello? I am more of an indoor till now. So how come three men sought me? So don't let anybody tell you. It's until you are strategically located in front of Trasco. That is when the man will notice you. There's nothing wrong in it. Why not? You can go out. It is until you are in front of Sharatin Hotel. It's a lie. If you carry power, the man will look for you. If you carry grace, the man will definitely find you out. There's no way. You can't miss it. I'm talking more of a spiritual thing than the physical now. So that when you are dancing, as if it's your reception day, you will know what you carry. Let me run it. Stop tying your happiness to being with around a guy. This is until I'm with this guy. That is when my happiness will come. And the guy keeps hurting you, serving you breakfast. And God told me, middle of the night, as a lady, if God has said you should come and you actually came, let me tell you now 
that breakfast was God make fast. So that you don't end up breaking up your future fast. So any breakfast is actually God make fast to quickly make you. Go and build yourself. Waiting period is an opportunity to do better with your life. So ladies, before I close, how do you make yourself findable? Psalm 102 verse 13 says, Arise! Arise! For the time to favor Adetum has come. Yea! The set time now. So why are we bothered? The set time is now. So how do you make yourself findable for the right man? Number one, find purpose first. What do I say? Find purpose first. Forget about the man now. Just forget. The man even, may even be downstairs. Forget. Find purpose first. Discover it. If not, if you don't discover that purpose, you will continue to run the man's vision for him. And you are wallowing in shame. That's why you see some people get married. They are just like old woman. And the man is fat and flourishing. You are managing his own vision for him. Instead of you to go and compliment his vision. And he compliments yours. So find purpose. First. Anything you want to do as a lady. Start it before you get married. Assuming I did not start holding bottle water in front of the mirror, how will I be holding my today? That means I'll be putting my husband to shame now. Because I'll be saying, He doesn't even ask me what I need to preach. You know some pastors, they will help your wife package. Say it like this. Say it like that or don't disgrace me. He doesn't, even, he doesn't even check my book when I'm ministering. He only tells me, go in peace. I know you will sure make me proud again. Find purpose! First! The, this time is the time you develop your character. That is when you will know the kind of man that would compliment you. Build your gifts during this period. Go to school. You don't have to go to university if you feel that maybe you don't have the money. So that is the thing that is delaying you. It's not. Go to fashion school. Go to school of makeup. Somebody did my makeup. I don't know how to do it. I can only do powder, put this one, put this one. I'm going out. Go. Somebody needs you. Somebody needs you somewhere. Go for fashion show. Go and add to your certificates. Are you so sure? The place you have gone to apply, that is where your husband is. Are you so sure he's not there? Maybe when you are doing your fashion show, he will just step in. But some people, TikTok from morning till night. Ah, you see this person? How ah, is she dressed like this? Nonsense. Ah, look at her shape. Oh, rubbish. You are talking about people's vision. When are they going to talk about your own vision? Find purpose! If you know you are a TikToker, then become a content creator. Please! Do something! Stop joining dating apps. Stop! I'm talking about the spirits now. Please don't be carried away. Stop! If you know what you carry, okay, I am still married. People are still looking at me. There's something. There's something you are seeing. Please find your purpose so that you don't run another person's race. Stop allowing people to connect you with this man today. Ah, you no know good. This man tomorrow. Why? It breaks my heart. How oh, I wish I can transfer. The vision I see about woman to you, then you will know you are not ordinary. 
So at this point, when you find your purpose, you build character, you build perseverance, you build compliments, you build patience. You know why? In that school you have gone to, you have a boss and you must submit. That is when the spirit of submission will come to play. So why are you stressing yourself? By the time you find purpose and discover it and you are running with it, you won't even have time for somebody telling you now, please, now let's date. Okay, let's try it. Maybe it will work. Papa, the date God told me that I was getting married, October 10, God told him the same day. He didn't waste time. He got him, he saw me today, gave me a ring. I think, gave me a ring, maybe I saw him in March. I think he gave me a ring, April or May, I can't remember. We did our court wedding, September. We got married October. 14 years this year. Please clap for Jesus. Find purpose. Discover it so that at the point of you finding your purpose and building your values and your character, your patience, your submission level will grow. You will start knowing how to treat a man. You will start knowing how to be a wife. You can't toss me around. Ever. I know where I'm going. If you don't discover your purpose early and on time, when the man shows up, you will discover you are not equipped enough to even support him. Then you crash. That's when you hear marriage don't break. Because you don't have the capacity to hold the home. And if you are married in this place, don't feel bad. You can start afresh. Yes. You can get it right today. And you will see that the man will be like, what? Oh, babe, where have you been? Things are working for us now, babe. So what is purpose? Purpose is what drives you to stand up every day and do something. That's why I'm coming down to a very simple statement so that you will remember. Purpose is what drives you to stand up and get up every day to do something. I was building myself while holding the bottle water. What if Bishop Boedeko is preaching? Will I be able to preach? Yes, I'll be able to preach. So I held my bottle and I started talking. I would dress up in the room alone, wear heels. And that's why today I can carry heels well. Purpose is the invisible hand that wakes you up every day and keeps you going, even if you failed last night. Purpose will tell you, start afresh again. Choose to be joyful, my sister, during this period. Moving from being single to be married is the easiest thing for God to do. You only need to equip yourself. You can get outside of that gate now. You made the man. I'm telling you the fact because it's going to happen. I'm telling you. That was what happened to Dickiness. She's in, she's in the UK today with her husband. After woman and her God, we were not even up to maybe from year to year that time. Loretta, right? I don't think we were like from year to year. She got out of woman and her God and met her husband. That's it. They are together till date. Number two, how to be a findable wife. Build your passion for God and for the purpose you have found. A woman that loves God would definitely love her spouse naturally. Don't let me deceive you. Naturally. Every day of my life, I pray on his head. It's a natural. Do you know sometimes I would have done it, I would ask myself, what did I just do? It has become a lifestyle. Even when I'm rushing out like this and I forget, I will go back. Favor in the name of Jesus. And I will rush. Build your passion for God. First. And the purpose you have found. And when you do that, you will naturally love the man God is bringing your way. Naturally, you will just want the best for him. You won't start saying, no, now me go shine. Not be, I don't even have that time. Loretta, is it not because they said they don't know pastor's wife? That's why I started sitting back beside God's servant. <laughs> Under the canopy. People were looking for pastor's wife. I was the one welcoming people to church. And they didn't know. 
I got my miracle babies while standing as an usher. So what are you carrying in your head? I had to return back because people were asking, where is his wife? And I've told God, IWC again, I'm going back to my team. I can't be sitting down. What are you sitting down for? In God's presence? Sitting down to do what? Carrying title? Bah. So now they know me. I'm the pastor's wife. So when I'm in sanctuary, you don't look for me. But when I'm in ushery, build your passion for God. These are people. They just got married. See them. They are protocols. So what are we talking about? When you have your passion for God, naturally you will love and you will prepare for the man coming ready. And you will know that you are to add to his life. You'll be happy seeing him flourish. When you are passionate about God, you will not be selfish. The first time God's servant said, babe, Alero, I'm going to appear before American Embassy. I said, yes, go, go and do it. You can do it. This is the beginning of announcement for you. And immediately came out. He said, Alero, your God has done it. When you are passionate about God, you become findable by his son that loves him. Hello? Not just any man. When you are passionate about God, you will become findable for the son that loves him. So there's no way he can treat you wrong. That's on period. Tell your neighbor, that's on period. Now that you are single, please build your passion for God. Because after marriage, what next? The next thing you start saying, God, give me fruit of the womb. God, help me. You start forgetting about your vision. Because you are thinking, what will in-laws say? Time is running. Time is running. I waited for nine good years. But in those nine years, no in-law stressed me. In fact, they were carrying my matter more than me. Why? A woman of vision. I know where I'm going. My mother-in-law, come and see the way she used to pray. Don't cry, you. Don't think about anything. Your children are coming. Don't worry. Mother-in-law. Number three, how do you become findable for your God-ordained spouse? Make sure you are doing something. Don't laze around the house, sitting down morning till night, doing nothing on Instagram. I've already said it. If you like TikTok, become a content creator. creator. If you are not on social media today, you are clubbing that tomorrow, you are Telling people to connect you to dating apps, you are just wasting time. And when he comes, especially when he knows where he's going, he will feel you are just empty vessel. So have you seen now that there's no spirituality in this? It is you. Just go and build yourself. I don't like it when people say, come and receive. I guess. But receive on empty vessel? You are telling them to go and get married and they don't know how to equip themselves? How do you want them to sustain the marriage? Abba. That's why women and our God, watch out for us in this end time. Watch out for this ministry. It is what you are doing that God will use to announce you to your man. I started as a student. I knew I was to put smiles on people's face. So I carried bottled water and I started ministering. Who came to me? Hello? Who came to me? Talk now. Who came to me? My husband met me as the prayer lady in school. He met me ministering to lives. And what am I doing now? Ministry. How do you want your husband to meet you? Write it down. Go and answer that question yourself. How do you want your husband to meet you? Do you want him to meet you staying at home and doing nothing? Do you want him to meet you gossiping around or buying wigs or clubbing? Or going to eat. All those things are nice. But please. Build your destiny. Tell your neighbor. My husband will meet me doing something. Please loud it. My husband will meet me doing something. Go. And find something doing. And when. The man comes. And asks you that same question. What are you bringing to the table? You tell him, I am bringing favor. 
Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. As I round up, Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. If you are there, please shout hallelujah. Media, are we sleeping? Psalm 1. Are you still happy in the presence of the Lord? Yes. Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. Let's go. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of scornful. Verse 2, quickly. But his delight in the law of the law, and his law doeth him meditate, meditate day and night. Verse 3, my emphasis. And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever what? Whatsoever what? Whatsoever what? In that he doeth. Put your name. Whatsoever Busola does shall prosper. So why are you praying for prosperity? God can only bless the work of your hands. Stop waiting for the man to come. Stand up and do something so that God can add prosperity to your life. And you don't wallow in poverty or in borrowing. Root 2 verse 2. Root 2 verse 2. Quick one please. Root 2 verse 2. Good. Let us read. And Ruth the Moabites said unto Naomi, Let me now go to the field. And what? And what? Of corn after him. In whose size what? In whose size what? Ah! When you are doing something, definitely favor will come. It is how to be findable. Please, don't let anybody deceive you. You are a carpenter self. Do it. You are selling. Where is Sylvia? Sylvia sells pomo that I eat in my house. Where is she? Please stand up. The pomo I cook in my house. This is the lady that sells it. Please jam your hands for her. Do something. What did she do? She went to the field in order to find favor. Yeah. And you are sitting down at home. Yeah. Boaz found Ruth doing something. Jesus, Jesus, what are you doing? I need my hair to be made today because I, I just, I can't just do without this wig. Oh, jeez. I'm not saying she's not weak. You can wig your way, but wig your way to do something. I go to work every day. My husband says, even if you are tired, go to work. Hard work does not kill. So how are you so sure it is not at the place of work like roots that God would bring your husband to meet you? So stop staying somewhere and be gossiping for money tonight. It may be at the makeup show. It may be at the concert. Go and register schools of music. Dayton goes to school of music to build herself. So what are we doing? And she did this makeup. She made my dress. Please don't stand up. Let them greet you. She dressed me up today from the beginning to the end. Do something, women. Your future is too great. And Ruth 2, 19 to 20, she met her what? Her boas at the place she was walking. Rise up and do something, my sister. As you step out of this door and you decide to find something doing, God will bring your God-ordained husband amen. that will give you peace of mind. Amen. Can I hear you believe in amen? amen? Lastly, let go of your past thoughts, your past pains. Let go and let God. Step back to recharge today and re-strategize. Let go and let God in. During the period of you waiting as a single person, because the waiting will be over after your Thanksgiving. If you are still wallowing your past, please drop it. Change your attitude before your Thanksgiving now. Don't use your anger to drive your man away. Sometimes it is not the veil of the wicked. It is you using your attitude to chase him away. 
And why? It's because maybe most of you felt you have been hot. So you bring your hot to your present. And it affects your future. To all past breakups, there will be makeups in the name of Jesus. And to all people that have been served breakfast, God will make you fast. Can I hear believe in amen? amen? I say it to all those that felt they have been served breakfast. God will make your destiny fast. Amen. Be kind to yourself, children of God, and to the people around you. Know God for yourself. A findable person knows that she is attractive without people telling her. Your heart must be free of debris. Your heart must be free, free of pains and odds. Your heart must be free of past issues. Free your mind and start afresh again. So that you can enter into your God-given role as a supportive wife. When the man show up. Things to note as I close. As a lady. Remember, you need to forget your past pains, odds and heartbreaks. And start afresh with God. I wrote in my book that I wrote first in your decision, your destiny. I said the mirror that you are using to check the cars at the back. And the two mirrors beside, for the, the, two, the two window side, they are smaller than the windscreen in front of you. What does that connote? It means that the mirror that needs to check your past is too small than the windscreen in your future. Keep going. Keep going. Keep moving. Don't let pain stop your destiny. Let go of the past pains. Let go. Number two, things to note. Don't ever let the love for companionship lead you to the wrong man in life. Don't ever let the love for companionship lead you to the wrong man in life. Avoid getting into marriage and running out of it again. Ellie, don't be in a haste. Strategically get married. Know what you want for your life. Know what the man wants. Hallelujah. Number three. Don't be the anti. They are connecting with different men. Find purpose to your life. That's under three A. Two, three B. Build your character and value during this period of waiting. Work on your temperament first before you meet the man. Learn to love yourself first. Because if you don't love yourself, you'll be tired loving your spouse in marriage. It's a lifetime commitment. Stop waiting for marriage. Wait on God in the place of prayer and fasting for him to bring the right man. Hallelujah. That's three F. Don't let the society put you under pressure. You are not the one to find. He's the one to find you. So be joyful and celebrate yourself. Even if you think you are 38 or 39, celebrate in grand style. G, don't ever raise unreasonable standard and expectation in times of physical outlook and financial capacity. Nonetheless, don't settle for less. I saw a man of vision in my husband, even though he was not wearing suits, he was wearing a coat, even though he didn't have all the tech baker's trousers, but he had all these okrika's trousers, but I saw the vision ahead. Hallelujah. Joy is not a resort, it is a state of mind. You must live a joyful life. Joseph, in one day, moved from a prisoner to becoming a prime minister. Today, from a single person, you'll be called married in the name of Jesus. As I close, remember this. The goal is not to marry. It is to marry right. Please stand up on your feet. Can I hear believing? Amen. Please rise up on your feet. The goal is not to marry. It's to marry right. Don't let anybody put you under pressure. Even if you feel that you are married or you feel that time has gone, it's a lie. You can start afresh. How to become findable wife. Number one. Find. Scream it. Number one. First. Thank you. The person that said first. That person was with me. Good. Number two. How to become a findable wife. Thank you. Number three. Number four. In all of these things, do you know that it's only you that have the work to do? He's not a pastor. He's not a prophet. He's not seven mountains at all. Go and study all these things yourself. Lock yourself in the room and watch what will happen the next three days. God told me three days, some people will call me that they got engaged. Three days. Three days. 
So put your hand on your chest as we declare. I am an exceptional woman and a good wife. My status is changing. I am not a mediocre and no man will bring my glory down. I am strategically positioned by God to bring favor to my husband. I am ordained a wife and a support system from the foundation of the earth. I am a Proverbs 31 woman. So devil cannot stop my marital fulfillment. I am a lady who fears God. I am a prudent wife. A prudent wife is of the Lord. Proverbs 19 verse 14. I am a sign and a wonder to my generation. So therefore I will attract my God ordained husband. I am a findable wife. With a glorious virtue. Like that of Proverbs 31 woman. I will pray and fast. For myself. And for the man. And for the children. God is bringing my way. To clear any form of evil. That may want to ruin our destiny. Luke 9 21 says. And the, the, the appearance, of, appearance of him. Was glittering. Because he prayed. So fasting and prayer. Keeps me glowing. So number 10, I bring favor to my husband and I keep the favor growing in his life. Jam your hands together. Scream it. I am a findable wife. Mercy sister, please come. What struck you from the message? Hallelujah. This message this morning. Please, please say the Lord. I don't know how. I just feel like it's not even time for me to come out. This message this morning. I, I don't know how to put it, but. Can you hear her? I don't know how to say it. Please hold your tongue. I don't know how to say it, but this morning from what we just heard. I'm so touched. And I know that God is set to do a new thing in my life. Please clap for Jesus. That lady, please come very fast, please. That lady in yellow. Yes, please come. Please be fast because we are going to the Thanksgiving session. Please, very fast. What struck you from the message? Please listen to her, please. We have women speaking, please. Listen to her. It was a reminder for me and a wake-up call to stick with God and to build myself. Thank you, Jesus. Please clap for her. Please come, please come darling. She's my staff. Please clap for her. My baby in the office. I just saw her now. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I need the strings. My daughter is here. Please clap for her. She's a lawyer. Thank you. Well, I was indeed touched. In fact, it's a reminder that while waiting on God, we should make ourselves findable and creating an avenue to have purpose for ourselves. And again, I asked myself, am I, you know, when we, when we, we are waiting on God, our character, does it really reflect mm, God? That's right. And moving forth, I pray for the grace to work on myself. Please clap for her. Please come, my sister, as we close. Please jam your hands together for them, please. Please, I need the strings. My sister. Sure. Praise the Lord. What struck me in this um, service and preaching is that the word of God is a bitter truth. And um, it is a sword 
that every woman should hold. And every woman is a favor carrier. And you have to realize that at all times. Your thinking and your mind should be impact driven. You should be a woman that makes impact. Thank you, Jesus. From this end, lastly, that lady, please come. Yes. Please clap for her. Please clap for her. Please, can you um, raise the strings, please? We are getting into the D day now. Please. Praise God, church. Don't forget and also learn it from them, from the scripture. I'm really happy to be in church today. Thanks to please. my friend, Clap. Beatrice. Please. Because you are invited out, please. to be in church today. Mommy, you made a statement about most times, it's not God that is not giving you a husband. Our characters affect us. Um, I'll use myself as an example. My wedding is next month. But I've been proposed to this, my third proposal. This one will come. I'll do this one thing, one thing, one thing. The person will leave. Last year, December, I turned down another proposal. This is like the third proposal. I called myself. I said, Joy, nobody will advise you. You need to advise yourself. You need to work on yourself, not the men. So I'm really happy. When I heard that particular one, I, I held myself. I said, this woman is talking to me. Temper, I have serious temperament. Please, as a lady, it's not about finding a husband. Try to work on yourself, your character, your temperament, and everything. And you'll find a good man. Thank you. next month I decree anything that is holding your marital fulfillment they are destroyed now in the name of Jesus lift up your two hands have you been blessed by the word can I hear it have you been blessed by the word scream it I am blessed say my father my father I pray this one time prayer. Let me become findable for your son that is coming my way. Turn it to prayer. It may be that you also need to change your character. Like I said, it may be that you need to find purpose. Please begin to pray the anointing session. Oh! 